everybody. We're the Showbergs. Alex. Me. And Lauren. <laughs> We're back with another review for iloveitspicy.com. That's right. Today, we are doing a review for... Dun, 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 dun. There it is. Uh, Tabanero hot sauce. Picante. This sauce is, as it says on the bottle, 100% natural, which is super awesome. It is um, based out of Tabasco, Mexico. So Tabasco is an actual place, um, not just another brand of hot sauce. Right. Uh, and the Tabanero name comes from it being from Tabasco and it being formulated from mostly habanero peppers. And we all like know I love the habanero. That's right. So I am very excited. Not only is it all natural and therefore healthy, of course, uh, spicy is good for you too. So double whammy there. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a really cool backstory and they even tell you that it ages like a fine wine. Put it on the shelf. Keep one it around now, if later. you can keep it on yeah. the shelf. Well, that you just is. have two all at the same time. So one for use <laughs> now, one to age. Right. Exactly. So real quick, let's go through the ingredients. They are super simple. Okay. Select habanero peppers, mm -hmm. carrots, onions, key lime juice, Ooh. agave as a sweetener, which is nice. Yum. Garlic, salt, and grapefruit seed extract. And that's it. Interesting. Super simple. That's it. No preservatives, no wackadoodle stuff in there. Just good, all natural, wholesome yumminess. So we got, so you can kind of see, really nice color to it. It looks a little more uh, orangish red in person than it does in the video, but... Orange red, you can see some pulp and some seeds and all Makes sorts of sense. good stuff. Makes sense, carrots, you know, habaneros, carrots, mm -hmm. probably going to be a little on the mm. orangey side. Right away. You can smell the peppers, doesn't smell super hot. Definitely smell the garlic. Mm. Mm. And the onion. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> it just smells really it good. It even says it was voted the best. So we'll, By who, we'll I don't see. know. But we'll see. Flavorful we'll and give zesty. Them our vote. It does smell like habaneros and garlic and, onion. and a little bit of sweet, which could be onion. It could be carrots. It could be the agave. Mm -hmm. Okay. I really want to taste it. Yep. Let's do it. Oh, come on. Give me more than that. I'm, I'm trying. It's very slow to come out of the bottle. It has a very small hole at the top. Yeah, no shaker top. It's just one of those ones that's kind of restrictive right. in pouring. So it's a nice big so. size bottle, but it does come out a little slowly. But so. nice consistency, not too thin. Sticks to my spoon. Mm -hmm. As I roll it around, it actually I coats the bits. whole thing without going anywhere. There you go. Just so you can see. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. First thing I get is a little bit of sweetness right up front. And then you get the oh. heat. Not overpowering, just that nice habanero flavor. Mm. You get the garlic and the onion, and it's just very well balanced. Yeah. Not too hot, not too sweet, not vinegary. I know a lot of people don't like the really vinegary hot sauces. Yeah. Um, no vinegar. No, not at all. None. So it's really tasty on its own, and we've tried it on a bunch of things, and I don't think I've found anything yet that I haven't liked it on. Um, eggs, phenomenal. Yay. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Hot sauce on my eggs, yep. and this is definitely a go-to now. Um, you know, typical things, tacos, nachos, that sort of thing. Perfect. Yep. If it's a medium to hot. It even says so on here. So, um, you know, if you like it spicy, but you don't want to blow yourself out because you want to enjoy your whole meal and just have that nice heat level kind of stay in that mid to high range, this is your guy. Uh, it really enhances the flavor without detracting. Again, if you like habaneros and that little bit of fruity to it, mm -hmm. you definitely get that with this. Yeah. Uh, what else did we try it on? Uh, some chicken. So just as, you know, along with a regular kind of garlic and seasonings marinade, just a little bit of that. You just add some heat and a little more flavor. It's, yeah, I, I really, this yeah. might be uh, one of my new faves. And uh, the other great thing about it is, I'm not sure the price point, I haven't looked that part up yet, but it is a nice big eight ounce bottle. Nice. So you're not going to run out too, well, you might run out fast because you're going to use a lot <laughs> of it. But. It does age well, but only if you can keep it around that long. So, yes, this is uh, an awesome hot sauce. I'm very yep. happy. I've, I've heard the name tossed around a couple times. I was happy to finally get a bottle or two to try out. And, uh, yeah. On the I Love It Spicy Flaming Heart scale, I would give this bad boy, I might give this a five. 
yeah, I think it's the first five I've given, but I there's nothing wrong with this hot sauce. Yeah. Oh, I ooh. Well, heck, I I thought about giving it a five, but I'm stingy and I'm just not. Maybe, possibly, there could be just the time. I don't know what though. Oh gosh. No, no. Four and a half. I just have uh, to do four four point seven five. Four point nine. I don't know. Uh, no, I can't quite do a five. I'm not one hundred percent convinced that this is the best one ever, and that's what I would give my five to. But this is the, as far as I remember, the closest I've come. So yeah. Great job, Anya, Tabanero, hot sauces. Yeah. Go ahead and make more varieties, because if you can do this one, I'm sure you can yeah. do other things. Don't go crazy, though. No, no, no. Just focus on a couple of your Focus gonna do on that. what you're best but, at, but, but if you want to try something else. Don't change this. <laughs> and if you yeah. don't know what it is, if you haven't had it, go out and get yourself a bottle, because yep. you won't be disappointed. Tabanero. Easy to remember. Look it up online. Get it. Yep. So that's another review for iloveitspicy.com. We're the Showbergs, and we will see you soon. Bye, guys.